The ninth Funda Mzansi Championship gets underway in the Southern Cape today. The Funda Mzansi Championship is a reading competition where all the National Libraries of South Africa's Centre for the Books Affiliated Book Club compete against each other. So our reporter Nomowetu Solwandle is there. She's covering the event for us. Let's uh, cross over to her to find out more. Nomowetu, good morning again. Very good morning to you once again, Leanne. Well, this is where the opening of the Fundam Zanzi Championships will be taking place. I mean, Leanne, we haven't even gotten really to the crux of it all, where the inmates will be um, showcasing the skills. And already we've heard so many interesting stories. Earlier on, I spoke to two parolees. They are, are, are now outside, but they've continued to to to. Continue continued doing what they were doing when they were in, in book clubs um, in, in, in the correctional centres. Joining me now is the Regional Commissioner of the Western Cape, Mr. Delekile Glass. So if you could just tell us more about Fundam Zanzi, what is it that um, made correctional services to, be want, to, to want to be part of this? Yes, uh, thank you, Norma and thank you to the listeners. We have decided to be part of this uh, important event because we wanted to encourage the culture of reading. As I think we are aware, most of the offenders in our care are semi-literate or illiterate, and we are encouraging them to read with the intention that they must start getting used to reading for leisure. From there, they must start getting to study and have formal studies so that they can have better qualification. For instance, if you look at some of the parolees we talked to earlier on, both of them came into the correctional services with no metric, but they left a correctional facility not only with metric, but some of them have even written books about their life story and about their experiences, which for us is very important as part of our rehabilitation effort. But I think most importantly, we are doing this project Jointly with the National Library, we are bringing in not only offenders, but also book clubs from communities, book clubs from parolees, also high schools, because we want to encourage the culture of reading broadly in society, particularly amongst the young people, because we believe that it is only when these young people participate in efforts like this book clubs and reading that they will not make the same mistake that some of the offenders have made and end up in our community. Now, Commissioner, you know, we, we can't run away from the fact that um, our, our prisons still do have the troublemakers, you know. How do you facilitate this whole process where the ones that actually want to turn their lives around are allowed to, while, you know, not getting any issues? Yes, we, in almost all our facilities, we have cells that we designate for offenders who are willing to change their lives around. We have also centers that we are calling centers of excellence, where we are trying to establish schools and centers of learning where we take offenders who are willing to turn their lives around. And part of what we are saying to offenders is to encourage them to say that you can either stay in a cell for 23 hours, get only a one hour exercise, or you can participate in all these positive programs and turn your life around. And I must say, our numbers are increasing more and more. Throughout the country, even though today we have 240 offenders, these 240 offenders were, here, were selected from more than 20,000 offenders who belong to various book clubs across the country, which shows that the culture of reading is beginning to take root within correctional services. And we believe that uh, we would reach a point where almost 50% of our offenders across the country will be involved in book clubs. Now, just before I let you go, Commissioner, very briefly, what can we expect to see in the next five days? In the next five days, we'll be having book clubs with all 11 languages, but most importantly, this year also, we'll be having Braille as the 12th language, which will be utilized. So, offenders will be competing in reading, it will be competitions in spelling, it will be a debate which is very critical for us to see whether offenders, after they have read a book, do they understand the content and the context. That's why we have introduced debate, 
but also we can produce spelling because we believe that spelling would also assist in terms of the literacy levels of offenders. Well, thank you very much for your time. That there was the commissioner of the Western Cape, Mr. Delikile Class, telling us more about the Fundam Zanzi Championships, which are set to kick off here in George, in the Western Cape. Already hearing so many interesting stories, even parolees that are already out have come back because they've loved what the, the skills that they got here, and now they're here to encourage others that they must continue with the skills that they're going to get here. With that, it's back to you guys in Johannesburg. All right, Numoeto, thank you very, very much for uh, keeping us updated on that.